our judge for this afternoon and our supreme god is Mr. Chris Mullinex, of course the judging coach over here at Kansas State University. And with that, I think we are ready to start with our females just to come into the ring. First header in will be our champion Angus female, exhibited by Jace Stagemeyer from Page, Nebraska. Second heifer in is our champion AOP and commercial junior heifer, is exhibited by Sarah Solomon. Our champion Bronde Heifer, exhibited by Jordan Walker of Tecumseh, Oklahoma. Our champion Charlotte female was exhibited by Jenna Talon of Cole, Iowa. Champion Hooker yeah. was exhibited by Macy Curry from Pokemon, Oklahoma. Pokemon, Oklahoma. Pokemon. Champion Limousine from Carly Harris of Watton, Oklahoma. Your champion maintainer, Jamie Hoblin, York, Nebraska. It's like parking stalls. Did you just see that guy? Did you just see that? Champion it's Mary Jude Heifer. I know that. <laughs> Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Champion Maine Angus. Jackie Schleichter, Abilene, Kansas. The little um, mm -hmm. vest on. Yeah. American Hereford Association. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone told it's on. Free branding. Oh, yeah. I mean, why not? And they look Champion nice. Champion Optimizer nice Heifer, Josie Bell, <gasps> Galva, Kansas. Champion Red Angus, Ben Spencer, Gibbon, Nebraska. Champion Shorthorn Female, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. It's beautiful. Your champion Shorthorn Plus Female, Abigail Burkhart. Dunlap, Iowa. Champion Persini Simitol, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. And Champion Cooper at Simitol, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Folks, let's give all these young exhibitors a round of applause. Judge Melnitz, the floor is yours. To be out here and share the arena with the uh, uh, an unbelievable set of champions. Before we go any further, we're going to select the supreme champion here this afternoon, and uh, what an honor it will be but to simply have been out here in this arena and worked through the cattle that you had as young people, the, the blood, sweat, and tears that went on at home, but then to get here against this competition and be out here to represent your breed is something uh, to be incredibly proud of. I hope everybody around ringside will help me in congratulating every one of these breed champions for what they've accomplished already.
had a handful of thoughts that I, I just wanted to throw out there before we select the champion. And, uh, you know, first of all, uh, I will tell you, uh, this is never an easy selection. But I will tell you, in many ways, I had the easy decision because there's been uh, uh, a set of judges already in each of these breeds that uh, really had to work hard uh, to get this selection out here for me. And they, uh, they are the ones that deserve as much credit as I do at this point in time because, uh, you know, they're the ones that, that really analyzed and dug in deep and found the ones that fit their type. And, uh, and I couldn't be any more excited now to just come back out and get a chance to look at what that group of unbelievably qualified uh, judges have done already to this point. So if you would help me in thanking that group of judges also, if some of them are still around here, for a magnificent job of getting us to this point. This is quite an honor, guys. And uh, you know, I know I, it's been several years since I had a chance to be part of this, uh, uh, but I'm not so sure it wasn't the first year that they, uh, they named this in uh, Stanley's honor. Uh, that I had had a chance and uh, you know for me to get a chance to come out here and share my thoughts on this group of champions uh, You know it is uh, it's humbling. I first thank the American Royal for giving me that honor and trusting uh, me to make uh, The decision that I felt right, but also uh, it's an honor to get to represent uh, Somebody that means uh, a lot to the beef cattle industry meant a lot to the beef cattle industry still has family so heavily involved uh, and uh, on a personal note, somebody that meant so much uh, uh, to a university that's obviously uh, near and dear to my heart. And, uh, you know, so uh, the, the chance to be out here and, and to be part of a supreme champion decision like this uh, in Stanley Stout's honor is something that uh, I don't take lightly. I'm sure he's uh, watching down on us like he always does. I would say... Uh, I was a senior at Kansas State University uh, and part of the bull sale class uh, and got picked on plenty by Stanley uh, as I took bids during a sale one year. And, uh, but that's the kind of person he was. He challenged young people uh, and uh, you know, he was excited to see where the future of this industry could go based on the young people uh, at the end of these halters. And, uh, and I'm so excited for uh, you guys have an opportunity to come out and represent uh, a man that most of you never knew, but I'm sure many, many people in your lives did. So, you know, if you would uh, help me in thanking his family and the Royal again with a nice round of applause uh, for doing uh, such an honor in his name. And finally, the American Royal itself, guys. And, uh, and uh, obviously, uh, now. Uh, a transplant Kansas, but a place of Kansan, but a but a, a place I've called home for a long, long time. And this uh, uh, this show itself, the history that it has, is absolutely amazing. Uh, 120 years ago, this show started as uh, the National Herford Show, and has grown uh, to be. Uh, one of the premier livestock events anywhere in the world. And uh, whether it's our junior activities, the open shows, the breeders that showcase uh, uh, these many different breeds here as part of our open beef cattle show, it's just, a, it's just an amazing event. And uh, you know, obviously as someone that grew up in the Herford breed and, and uh, the role that this, uh, uh, this place plays every year as uh, many of our annual meetings are going on here. It's just something that's uh, a pretty special place and the history speaks for itself. But I will tell you, the future, I think, uh, speaks even more volumes. And I, I am so, so excited in just uh, his first year to see the things that Glen Allen is already doing for uh, you know the pro the many programs that are part of the American Royal, and I'm sure you know what we see here during these uh, couple of weeks uh, is nothing compared to what he and his staff and the volunteers do in getting prepared. And as we look and what's uh, ready to happen, you know, for this show and, uh, and a new venue and uh, for the 120 years of greatness, I just can't wait to see what's next. And I am so excited uh, that Glenn Allen has taken the charge here and. Uh, we're in great hands, guys, and this show is going, uh, uh, has not only done amazing things, but uh, I don't think it'll hold the candle for what's yet to come. So, last group, if you would, help me thank Glenn Allen and his entire group, and now uh, show them how excited we are for what's yet to come. I'm not going to spend any time talking to cattle. You guys have seen them. 
Uh, if they already uh, don't speak to you, then there's nothing that I could say uh, to make it any different. I, this is an amazing group of guests. Uh, does that mean there aren't a couple of them that stand out to me? Uh, in my opinion, no. But uh, to look at each one of these breed champions uh, uh, and uh, see the quality that stands out here, I think is pretty special. So it's a credit to the young people at the halter, but the families that have helped them, the breeders that have gotten these cattle into the hands of such great young showmen that are out here. Uh, and now it's just my chance to share my thought uh, in selecting a supreme champion female. and. Uh, you know, for me personally, I, I've mentioned this before, a Supreme Champion is uh, one of the most challenging and neatest uh, opportunities that a judge has. And, uh, but I think it's very difficult because one of the important things that is, I think, uh, always uh, needs to stay valuable in this decision is that these breeds still are designed with a different purpose in our industry. Each one of them has some strengths and some things they offer the beef cattle uh, world. And uh, as we come out here and we showcase each of these breeds, I, I try to, instead of comparing each heifer out here to the one standing next to her, I instead try to look at each one of these females and say, where does she stand relative to her contemporaries within that individual breed? Where can she help take that breed? And I think that's what makes this a fun decision. I'm going to put up the mic uh, and go uh, select you the one uh, that hit me awfully, awfully hard when they came in the ring, and I haven't been disappointed the more that I've broke her down, but this is an awesome set of cattle, guys. One more time, congratulate these juniors. Give them a big round of applause if you will. Congratulations to all these exhibitors out here today. What a great event this is each and every year.